write here the angles in theta and these are the ratios so first we'll write the names as we know sine theta ratios name cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta okay friends now just see how am i writing about the angles okay the trick lies over here we'll be writing the angles in this format only in what i am writing see 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree 90 degree and 0 degree i'll sh i'll tell you later on why i'm writing in this pattern but you'll have to by heart the same pattern okay and now now you will have to learn sin 30 the table of sin okay the ratio see sin 30 is half sin 60 is root 3 by 2 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 this you will have to by heart okay sin 90 is 1 sin 0 is 0 now here comes the trick What I'll do is next is just put across here I'll put a straight thing then again across now you can observe it see I'm just rearranging the term from here I mean I'm crossing the term over here it's nothing but the same see again for 45 degree it will remain the same 1 by root 2 now for cos 90 it will come 0 which is sin 0 and here it will come 1 same way we will do for this also for cosec and sec and for tan it is always opposite as we know as we all know that tan theta equal to sin theta upon cos theta ok so this upon this denominator denominator gets cancelled and you get these value 1 by root 3 tan of 60 is root 3 tan 45 your root 2 root 2 cancel so 1 upon 1 you get 1 tan 90 now 1 upon 0 so friends what is 1 upon 0 it is always infinity okay so 1 upon 0 is infinity here i'll write on side so that you can remember 1 upon 0 is infinity and 0 upon 1 is understood it is 0 itself okay now let's go to cosec sec and cot for this thing we all know that it is reciprocal of sine that is cosec theta equal to 1 upon sin theta so we will have to take all reciprocal of these things right so I will write over here 2 by root 3 here it is root 2 here 1 divide by 1 so it is 1 because the, if there is nothing in the denominator it is understood it is 1 so reverse will also be 1 upon 1 so it is 1 now here 0 and here it is nothing in the denominator what will be the reverse if it is nothing in the denominator means it is a 1 so 0 upon 1 its reverse will be 1 upon 0 which is infinity so write down here infinity now for sec it will be reverse of cos ok so 2 by root 3 and now you need not to look here what I told you cross section this thing cross one you can do over here the same pattern cross pattern so just write it down here it will be infinity here it will be one okay and now for tan sorry for cot 
cot is the opposite of tan so it will be reverse way root 3 root 3 upon 1 means it will be 1 upon root 3 here it will be 1 now in this case remaining it is just a cross 